I'm here at the EB Games at Universal City Walk for the launch of the Nintendo DS. Hundreds of kids have lined up in a cold, rainy day in Los Angeles. Cold and rainy in Los Angeles. WTH. But they're all here for the Nintendo DS and they love it. Come here, brother Matt. How you doing, man? Good. So I heard you were watching a movie instead of waiting with the kids. As a matter of fact, you know, I brought my DS with me, though, and I played it for a good 10 minutes before the movie. Did you play it in front of the kids just to show them how cool you are? Actually, no, because uh, they wouldn't think I'm cool. No, I'm just kidding. DS is very, very cool. Buy lots of DSs. They're the greatest thing ever, and they're very yummy. I've got picture oh, chat up and running. Anybody? So far, no response, but I expect tens, maybe even dozens of geeks to be responding to this very, very soon. And uh, I got the call out there, and I have a feeling I'm going to get some answers very shortly. See, a system launch is a very big, rowdy, spectacular event, so you need top-notch security. Like my guys here. I feel safe and secure, although they don't look terribly happy. Ooh, he, he's got a Sprite, though. Should I go steal it? Okay, I am here in the Nintendo DS line with the guy with the tallest hair I've seen in eight That's years. That's right. Can you even get this on camera? I can't. Yeah, you, I mean, come on. You need a new lens for his hair. Yeah. So what are you here for? I'm here for the Nintendo DS. And this guy's loving. Dude. <laughs> huh? I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Touching is good! <laughs> Ow. I touched it! <laughs> this shows that the Nintendo DS is for everyone, no matter how much of a deviant you are, like Santa over here. I'm scared of him. Cool, this is like high tech because you're filming me being filmed by him. Oh no, no, no. Now you're filming our cameraman filming me. Whoa! That added a whole new layer of complexity. So there are two cameras on me. Does that add 20 pounds? Shit. The Nintendo DS is so cool, everyone's getting into it. Even this tool. You know you want it. Jerk. The DS will own you. Not only is Master Chef getting into the Nintendo DS, but Captain Mullet himself is getting into it. Come on. Come on, Snake, eat this. What's your camouflage index now, baby? They turned off the lights. There are about a dozen girls with boxes. And there's smoke and pyro and fireworks. It's getting exciting. This is what it's like when I go home. <laughs> they make a big production. There's smoke, fires. Sometimes there's fireworks. But there's always ladies. I'm going to be all covert. Hi. That, that's a nice box you have. <laughs> Thank you. I, ha I had a box too, but I lost it. Oh. Where, where do you get your box? I got it here. <laughs> oh. This isn't working. Cliff, what were the seven rules again? <laughs> Shit. Make your intent. I like. Nah. Damn it. <laughs> I found my box. <laughs> I, I think our boxes should get together. Hey, this is just like the living in a prayer video. Tommy used to work on the docks. This is exciting. This is like my gaming and Bon Jovi fantasies all wrapped up into one. How are kids supposed to find their way into the store with all the smoke and fire? Woo! Sony's attacking. Oh. There he is. That's a hot jacket right there. So, oh, he is oldie school or something like that. I'm here with Matthew, who is the first guy in line at Universal EV. 
Matthew, what time do you get here today? Uh, quarter to 9 a.m. Quarter to 9 a.m., man, that you're here for the long haul. Yeah. So you're super psyched. You got your DS. Tell me why you're so psyched about it. I'm so psyched. Ever since January 21st, when they first announced it, I knew I, was, I, knew I had to get it. So you've been here for, like, a lot of hours. What, what was your day like? What were you doing the whole time waiting? Well, uh, I got here, and I, th I was really scared. I thought it wasn't going to be the be one of the first hundred, but I, I was. So what features are you most excited about for the DS? Um, the Wi-Fi features. I like the touchscreen, a little bit more innovative than the, the PSP. I'm not dogging on it, but Nintendo's... You're dog dogging on all you want. Right, but, you know, Nintendo is more innovative than the PSP. I got here, store open. I had to still pre-order my um, DS because I had to cancel my other pre-order at the other EB. And um, got here. Uh, they asked me to, to be one of the people to sign. Since I was going to be here all day, I so signed all the 106 people in and just talking to people all day, pretty much. And it's totally worth it, right? Totally worth it. Awesome. Uh, if I had to do it again, I would do it again. That's awesome to hear. Matthew, go have fun, man. All right. We got my man Spencer here. He's also picking up his DS. He's representing with a Nintendo jacket. So what time do you get here today? I got here around like 6 p.m. Got a chance to chill out. You waited six hours for your DS. Why are you psyched for this system? I'm so psyched for it. Number one, it's the first American release of a Nintendo system. Like, they're getting it before Japan does. I mean, the launch towers are phenomenal. Like, compared to like, the PSP launch in Japan, like, this, this launch is, like, the best ever. And, you know, it's, it's a unique system. It's got two screens and stuff like that, too. It's something totally different. It's going to revolutionize, like, the video game industry, you know? What DS games are you most excited about? Uh, definitely Feel the Magic, XYXX. I mean... You know, if you're going to take a game that's going to be the unique launch tower, it's going to be that. All the other games are kind of derivative. You know, you get a game made by Sega. It's like Sonic Team. You know it's going to be good. What did you pick up today? Uh, just uh, two DSs, Field the Magic X, X, Y, X, X. Two DSs. You get one for your buddy? Or are you going to eBay with that, aren't you? No, I'm, huh? getting my, I'm getting it for my girlfriend. You know, she, she loves Nintendo, too. So, you know, you got to represent for her, too. So out of all the features, all the things that the DS brings to the table, what, what do you think is the most interesting? Uh, I definitely think what's most interesting is what companies are going to do with the touchscreen. Like, that's why I like, feel the Magic XYXX is a really good example of like, how they can use the touchscreen for new features. Like, some of the other games, like Spider-Man, they just use as a like, simple combo feature. But like, I, I think a lot, of, a lot of companies like Square Enix, when they're making their Final Fantasy III remake, the rumor around for the Japanese version is that they're going to have the touchscreen so you can like, on, fly, on the fly like, special attacks and stuff like that. And there's a kind of cool, a kind of cool something different, you know? How about the wireless multiplayer? Are you into that at all? Yeah, I'm definitely into that. Like, uh, I mean, there aren't too many towers right now that really support it, but like, once Metroid Prime Hunters comes out, then we're going to know where it's at. How about Animal Crossing DS? Definitely. Huge Animal Crossing fan. I think, I think Animal Crossing DS is going to be hot, but I'm going to have to get a Japanese version of that. Well, I don't want to keep you anymore. Go feel the magic right. with your girlfriend. Thank you, man. Be good. Look at that. My girls are leaving. They came here and they worked for like five minutes. Actually, they worked for like an hour, 50 minutes of getting all pretty. Oh wait, those are the Trojan girls. I'm big fans of your condoms. Hey Matt, Matt, is anyone talking to you yet? Yeah, we got about two, uh, probably around five, six people up there already. And we're having some really crude conversations. I'm not it's really Fran though, isn't it? Going back down, you can see I just drew a circle. That's about it. You're drawing the Sega swirl. That's, really about That's about treacherous. So yeah, man, it's, uh, it's up and running. Look at that, five minutes it's been in avail and people are already talking to Matt. Three people are talking to him. It's just like work. Right now we're representing for my people. What's up? Pinoy's. Pinoy's. I got it. I had to find the first Filipino in line because we rule. So you got your DS. Why are you, why are you so excited for it? Because uh, I'm a Nintendo crackhead pretty much. I won't buy nothing else but Nintendo. You're keeping it real for yep. Nintendo. So what games are you excited about for the DS? I don't know yet. I haven't checked them out. Oh, that, just, you're so hardcore you just bought it because it's yeah, Nintendo. Yeah, pretty much. Just as Nintendo. I love Nintendo. Nothing more, nothing less. That's a great story. It's a beautiful story of Nintendo love. But I don't want to keep him because he's getting all antsy because he wants to go get I, his I gift bag. I want to play it. I want to play it already. So. Oh, cool. Cool, right, man. Looking out, man. Pinoy's. Yep. The Nintendo DS is all about two, so I went in and found some twins. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> Turn around. There you go. There you go. Good. So, why are you guys so psyched about this system? Man, I played it when I was waiting for someone, and I ended up playing for like two hours. So it's like hella addictive. And I like the Metroid demo, which was pretty cool. And I just think that the touchscreen and the microphone and 
all the other cool little features and the wireless is just cool. So you're the first one to talk about the microphone. What do you think the microphone is going to be cool for? Well, I, I, re I was reading something about like basically like uh, there's this one mini game within a game that like you can blow in the microphone and you can take all kinds of other voice commands. And I just think it gives developers a lot more like freedom to do more things with games. Stuff nobody's ever seen before. Exactly. Right? Yeah. How about you? Why are you psyched for it? Because when I go to the airport, I'll have some entertainment, and that's the awesomest thing ever. And plus, I like waited in line just to like see it at E3, and I didn't even get a chance to do it. So like, this is like rectifying the situation, baby. Hey, now it's all for, it's yours for as long as you want. That's right. That's right. right. You gonna give a shout out? For show sure, Phi Sigma Sigma for life. Zeta Alpha Chapter, Woodbury University. You know what I'm saying? Representing. I know what she's saying. <laughs> Maybe that's not Kenny G. He's more like carrot top. We got to interview that guy's hair. Dude, 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 I'm in LA and I found Justin Guarini. Justin Guarini bought his Nintendo DS at the Universal CityWalk EV. No, I'm kidding. It's my man, Josh. So these guys are a couple and they bought their DSs together. So is touching good? Of course it's good. Come on. Who doesn't like to touch? I say it's wonderful. Whoa, these guys are into the kinky stuff. So you got your DS system. Why are you so psyched about it? Oh, man, everything from the picto chat system, dual screen, you name it, man. You guys going to send each other little picto chat love letters? That's what yep. we're talking about today. <laughs> it's all the way. You better respond. Uh -oh. So what, what can you tell him on picto chat that you can't tell him in real life? Ooh, there's lots of things I could tell him. <laughs> They're gonna do kinky stuff with their DSs. This is just right. it's good touching. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> so the Nintendo DS has two screens. Are you like? Do you like being on the top or being on the bottom? On top. <laughs> on top. You hear that? <laughs> awesome, man. <laughs> Say goodbye to Game Boy. Sorry about that. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! Do that, Adam Sessler!